Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can easily color grade your photos when it comes to Photoshop from looking like this to looking like this when it comes to Photoshop. We are going to be looking at basically all the tools and techniques that you can use to make the colors in the photos look better and how to make the images pop. So this image was got from signature edits and you can get it too. So in order to color grade this very image, I'm just going to come and I delete the color graded folder so that you can understand how to do the color grading on this very image so in order to color grade the image you are simply going to come to the background image and make sure I create a copy from the background image right here so you can simply press ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard or you can as well drag and drop on the new layer icon to create a copy or a backup copy from the background image once you're done doing that simply come and simply right click on the new layer right click on it and simply come to convert to smart object the reason for converting it into a smart object is because we want to be able to change the values later on after applying the colors or the color grading in this very photo so after this we're just going to come to filter then we're going to come to camera raw filter so as you understand camera raw has different tools that you can use to color grade and these tools are going to be very simple and easy to follow along so we are going to first of all come and scroll down to our calibration panel in camera raw so just scroll down and come to calibration and under calibration we have the blue primary section so i tend to use this more to make the photos pop so come to blue primary and click on the saturation option and drag it forward like that so don't take it all the way up just add a tiny bit of it so at about 22 that looks okay you can see before and after for just that subtle adjustment then you're going to come back up to our light panel and add a tiny bit of contrast to the image then you're going to come to where you see vibrance make sure you use vibrance and not saturation because you're going to be handling the other colors later on in this very video so come to vibrance click on the vibrance option and drag it slightly forward and that is going to add a tiny bit of pop to the colors in the image you can see before after it is very subtle then in order to manipulate the colors to look richer and to make the image look better you're just going to come to the color grading panel in camera raw so in color grading panel we have midtones shadows and highlights so you can affect any individual color according to the midtones the highlights and the shadows in the image so for this i just want to handle the midtones because the skin tones usually fall under the midtones. So I'm just going to come to the midtones, click in the middle pointer right here, and drag it towards the orange panel or the orange side. And as you can see, it slightly warms up the image. But the more you move it towards the edge, the more intense the color is going to be. And the closer you move it towards the center, the less saturated that color is going to be in your photo or in the image so i'm just going to add a tiny bit of the oranges like that then you can come to the shadows and as well add a given color to the shadows so for this i'm just going to come and add a tiny bit of blues to the shadows just like that to the image once you're done doing that you can say before and after before after the next step is going to be manipulating the rest of the colors in the image so you're just going to come to the color mixer and under color mixer we have the mixer option and the point color so these two are going to be crucial for making this very image look better in this case so for the first option we're just going to come to the mixer option and under mixer we have three options we have hue saturation and luminous hue basically deals with changing a color saturation deals with the intensity of a color and luminous deals with the brightness levels of a given color so for this you're just going to come to saturation because we want the colors to pop so for the saturation you're just going to come to the reds first of all because we have a little bit of the reds in the image you're just going to come to the reds and increase on the reds in the image slightly don't overdo this because we are going to be handling those colors later on then look at the color in the image and analyze it we have some blues come to the blues and increase on the intensity or the saturation of the blues and you are as well going to come to another color in the image so for this i feel like we have more of the reds and 
we have some little bit of orange so i'm just going to click on the orange slider and slightly increase on that you can see the before after before after once we're done doing this we're just going to come back to the second option under color mixer which is the point color so in point color we can individually target a given color by sampling or using the color picker tool or the eyedropper tool when it comes to photoshop so i'm just going to come to color mixer make sure point color is selected then click on the eyedropper or the color picker tool and choose a color that you want to manipulate in the image so for this you're just going to get the color picker tool and click on the blue color in the sky so just click on it and you can see it has sampled the color within the sky then come to the saturation and simply increase on the saturation of the blues and you're just going to come and click on the pointer once again and click on the darker shade of the blue and come to saturation and simply increase on the intensity of the blues don't overdo this because it's going to create that kind of little of fringing to the image so i'm just going to move it to around 57 i feel like that is okay then come and click on the color picker tool once again then click on this red color and you can increase on the saturation just like that and you can see by just doing this the image tends to look better right now so in case you want to play more with the skin color or the skin tones get the color picker tool and you sample on the skin area and you can increase on the saturation of the skin area just like that and you can see what we have right now we have a little bit of magentas on the model skin but we're going to be tackling that later on in this very video so you can see what we've been able to achieve by just using the color picker tool so in case you want to change any color in the image click on the colors the colors that you sampled and you can either play around with the luminous and the hue value so i'm just going to move the blows towards the aquas you can see before after before after after we have done this just come and click on ok so you can see the effects have been placed into a smart filter layer so in case you want to change the values later on after applying them to the image you can simply double click on the camera row icon and it's going to bring back the initial details or the settings that you applied to your image initially before and you can as well change those later on in case you want to change them so after you have done this we are just going to come to the second panel or well, the second option that we can use to make the image better which is simply using the selective color adjustment layer so just come to adjustments and click on selective color so selective color is going to work on the image in a more selective manner or in a more selective way so you can see that we have a little bit of reds on the skin tone so just come to the reds in this case and come to where you see the yellows and simply add a tiny bit of yellows to the reds and this is going to slightly reduce on the magentas on the model skin then you can as well come to the blacks and simply come to science and just play around with this to see what works best for you so you can go with this kind of uh, cyan fill in the blacks or you can as well move this towards the right hand side to get more richer blacks so i'm just going to move this forward i feel like that looks okay you can see before after before after it is really subtle so in case you want to manipulate the whites as well you can come and come to the whites and you can remove any color for example the yellows from the whites of the image so just come to the yellow slider and play around with the whites you can see how this is going to be affecting the image so just going to leave it at about there so in order to make the image even pop a little bit more we are going to come to adjustments and come to the levels adjustment layer and when you come to the levels simply hold down the option key on the keyboard alternate for those using windows so option and click on the black pointer move that forward until when the blacks are starting to show and do the same from this side then option and click and drag it towards the left hand side and stop at the, the point whereby the whites are getting to look prominent in the image so you can see before after before after it is really subtle but it makes the image look better to a whole new level so let's look at the overall before and after for the color grading of this very image when it comes to photoshop you can see 
this is the image before after before and after before and after so this is how you can simply learn how to color grade your photos when it comes to photoshop i hope you have enjoyed this video ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating